What's up, Fight Fans? It's 3K The Boss, and this is the Two Hands Up Show. Let's get it. All right, so Bob Barham says, Anthony Joshua will never be the same. <laughs> the Ruiz match is insane. Before the fight took place, top-ranked CEO Bob Arum had expected Anthony Joshua to have very few issues with Andy Ruiz, but that's not what happened on June 1st at Madison Square Garden in New York. Instead, Ruiz pulled off one of the biggest upsets in boxing history when he dropped um, Joshua four times for a seventh uh, round technical knockout to capture the WBO, WBA, IBF, and IBO world titles. It's not something I would have predicted, said Arum to Gareth Davies of the Telegraph. And he's a pretty good fighter. He has the fast hands and quick feet. But he has absolutely no punch. He was in with a lot of guys who couldn't spell fight. And he beat them. But he couldn't knock them out. In fact, he knocked out a fighter like Anthony Joshua, who had seen on television. And in a person against Joseph Parker, it shocked me. Andy Ruiz is a lovely guy. But he's no Vladimir Klitschko. If Joshua was able to survive Klitschko, who can punch and knock him out, who the hell does, how the hell does Ruiz beat him? Unless it wasn't Joshua in the ring. Now that's something that can happen. Maybe he didn't train hard enough. Maybe he suffered an injury. When something like this happened, there may never be that Joshua again. That's just me kicking it in my Bob Aaron voice. Now I'll continue. Now Joshua is going to face Ruiz again. The British star has exercised his immediate rematch clause with the second bout taking place in the fall. And Aaron thinks his promoter Eddie Hearn has gone bonkers to allow that to happen. Forget about the titles. The titles will always be there. Joshua's a great personality. He shouldn't go back with Andy Ruiz. Any real boxing guy would tell you that. Unfortunately, his promoter is not a boxing guy. And even if Joshua gets revenge, that Joshua will never be the same fighter. He could be Ruiz, but he'll never be the same. So much of boxing is mental. Opponents will never give him the respect he would have got before. No one could beat Mike Tyson until Buster Douglas Then guys like Evander Holyfield realized that they would have got a good chance with Mike because they weren't intimidated. That's me and my Bob Aaron voice again. Oh, more Bob Aaron voice. They brought him along terrifically. Well, people recognize him as the best heavyweight or one of the best, but if Andy Ruiz can knock him down four times, anyone can. If they put him in with Ruiz, it's silly. If it was a 12-round fight and Ruiz had won on points, that would be different. But he lost in a devastating way to Ruiz. He got beat and knocked out. It wasn't a lucky punch. He got knocked down four times. Don't put him in with the same guy. You've rebuilt him and rebuilt his confidence. All right, that's the end of the article. That was the Bob, Bob Aram exclusive brought to, <laughs> brought to y'all specifically by me, <laughs> Two Hands, and this is the Two Hands Up show. <laughs> Let's fucking go. What's up, Fight Fans? It's your man, 3K the Boss, a.k.a. Mr. Two Hands Up. Bye, bye. You know what it is, and this is, this is, this is the motherfucking Two Hands Up show. Let's get it, get it, go. All right, man, so, you know, I just, you know what I'm saying, spit that little, um, well, Bob Aram, <laughs> or me and my Bob Aram voice, if I'm being 100% authentic about it, you know what I mean, just uh, elaborated on that article that was uh, privy to me by the boxing scene, um, he was just basically stating that, you know, if Eddie, Eddie Hearn ain't no boxing guy, and if he was a boxing guy, any real nigga would know, or any real boxer would know, that you don't put Anthony Joshua back in the ring with Andy Ruiz for a rematch because he got knocked out in a devastating fashion. Well, hmm. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? If, if y'all been tuning in to the Two Hands Up show, y'all would see that I just did um, Tyson Gypsy Queen Fury um, vlog and how he was speaking on Anthony Joshua all disingenuous and I say he the type of nigga to shake your hand and then as soon as you turn around, stab you in your fucking back. Because that's the type of individual Tyson Fury is. And being that, Tyson Fury is um, Bob Aram's fighter. You've got to know that it's all 
and the Brainiac. It is Bob Arum's master plan. As they plan to piggyback off that match room promotion and ride that shit like a dirt bike to the wheels fall off. So, I would expect nothing less for Bob Arum. You know, everybody's coming out and they're still speaking on Anthony Joshua because even in the loss, he's still the biggest draw. And even in the loss, it made the conversation that much bigger because on the last vlog, I said, when I told y'all I was going to drop so many videos because I took a day off that y'all fucking heads don't want to spin. And they're always going to be current. They're always going to be on point, And it's always going to be real. But anyway, like I was saying, um, you know, I wouldn't expect uh, Bob Ram to do anything, you know, because the conversation is going to be Anthony Joshua. And the fact that he lost, y'all motherfuckers might be looking at him crazy, but I honestly think it was the best thing for him. Huh, it's weight off his shoulders. And, huh, you know what I'm saying? It gives everybody a different thing to talk about, like I stated in a couple of my other videos. I know I know my diehard subscribers know what's up. Shouts out to y'all. Two hands up, gang. Bah, bah, you know what it is. Um, You know, this has made that fight. That has done triple the magnitude of what this fight really could be. And now this fight is out of the stratosphere. And it's going to sell out at whatever venue it's at. It's going to bring out all the stars once again. And it's just going to be that much more of a blockbuster event. And for that fact that he lost, it took away from Tyson Fury. Upcoming bum bout with who the, Tom. Who the fuck is that guy, Schwartz? Who the fuck is that and, um, guy? You know, Deontay Wilder's Grumpy Old Men, Volume 3. Uh, volume 2, excuse me, match with Luis Ortiz. But hey, if that was Anthony Joshua fighting Klitschko in a rematch saying he needed to get that back because he got knocked on his ass even though he knocked him out, y'all be clowning him, right? Y'all motherfucking dick riding Deontay Wilder fans. Keep that same energy. You know what I mean? But anyway, I'm going to continue. So Bob Aaron was saying that putting him in for the rematch as um, something that you shouldn't do. You know, you need to rebuild his confidence and rebuild him as a fighter. No. Anthony Joshua knocked him down first. Anthony Joshua had the W. Anthony Joshua was concussed, and he just didn't listen to what Rob McCracken was telling him because the game plan was solid. All he had to do was go out and follow it. But due to the fact that when you're concussed, you're fatigued, you're not mentally there, you're forgetting things, you don't, you're don't. you quite delirious, and you don't know what's going on. Anthony Joshua was asking round and round what was going on, and that's completely out of his character. And anybody else in the world, you know what I'm saying, who watches boxing can identify with that. I'm not speaking that because I'm an Anthony Joshua fan, and that's my God, I'm speaking that because that's the truth. And if y'all know anything about me, y'all know I call the shit fair straight down the middle. If we're doing some disingenuous shit, I'm going to call you out about it. You know what I'm saying? So um, the fact of the matter is, Anthony Joshua is ready for the rematch. I think the fact that Bob Aram is pissed off that he's taking the rematch because the belts aren't up in the fucking air. It's not, you know what I'm saying? And the fact that um, he knows Anthony Joshua is going to get them back. And the fact that Dillian White is coming up, that he's already been um, offered interim, you know what I'm saying, an interim championship, WBC championship with the Oscar Rivas match, and he's going to be a mandatory challenger for uh, Deontay Wilder, but they haven't signed on yet because they want to know all the particulars and when that will take place. Bob Aram knows that Eddie Hearn is just quite too powerful and all of those belts are going in the stable, but they do have an excellent rapport, so I think it is genuine with some of the things he says because, you know, Bob Aram in his old age, he's made a lot of great mega fights, and he likes to let them drag along sometimes until eternity before he makes them happen because he wants to build up the fighter. But one thing about Anthony Joshua, there's nothing to build up. He's the biggest fighter in the game outside of Canelo Alvarez. We all snow that. You know what I'm saying? So, like, Bob Aram, you worry about your fighter. You 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 worry about Tyson Ferry. You know what I'm saying? Tyson the Gypsy Queen Ferry. You worry about what he doing. You worry about building this, you know what I'm saying, hand strength up. And you worry about putting him in with some credible opponents instead of letting him slide on tomato can. Because regardless... Like I've stated, um, if it didn't happen with Andy Ruiz, it was going to happen with somebody else. Because after Andy Ruiz, who was he going to fight? Kubrat Pulev. He was going to fight Alexander Usyk. He was going to try to fight Deontay Wilder. It was going to be Dillian White. It was going to be one of those guys. So eventually, he was going to catch an L. But I'm just glad that he's vindicated from that L and he can continue to move forward. So his sole focus is Andy Ruiz. Y'all can kill that three-headed monster talk because there was no three-headed monster anyway. Back in, uh, you know what I'm saying, from the beginning of time, up until today, you know, if you had four belts, you was that guy. You know what I mean? But back then, it was only three. You know what I'm saying? You needed three to be undisputed. And a lot of people still don't know to this day, you know what I'm saying? And you could quote Floyd Mayweather on that. You only really need three belts to be undisputed. But a lot of people wouldn't know that shit. You know what I'm saying? But now, you know what I mean? Considering there's other belts and, you know what I'm saying, rotation, they're, you know what I mean, calling it the four because nobody has really achieved that success since Lennox Lewis because it was three then. Now it's four. You know what I'm saying? So um, 
Anthony Josh was doing the right thing. What? You don't want him to exercise the fucking rematch, get his fucking belts back, and continue on, you know what I'm saying, the career, a landslide, another opponent. Bob Aram, you know what I'm saying? I know you're getting a little senile in old age, but you still know how to do business because you still got Terrence Crawford, Lomachenko, and a whole Shakur Stevenson, Teofimo Lopez, and a whole list of other fighters that I like. And I love the fact that, you know what I'm saying, the Ramirez, um, uh, hooker fight is coming up. Um, you guys cross promote all the time with Lomachenko and Crawler. So, you know what I'm saying? The No Smoke crew is the only one that don't want to get along here on this playground. You know what I mean? The fact that Bob Aram doesn't hold any weight in the heavyweight division is probably why, you know what I'm saying, he's speaking like that. But ain't nothing about Anthony Joshua's confidence that needs to be built up or anything like that because nobody needs to speak for him unlike, you know what I'm saying, you speak for other fighters. You know, we just going railroad, you know what I'm saying, railroad this shit. We already over the loss. We're moving forward. We're training hard. We're ready to get the information on where the venue is, when the fight's taking place. And if it's in the UK, hey, all my UK subscribers, man, Y'all holler at me, I'm going to shoot y'all my email, my number, whatever, and I'm trying to chop it up at y'all with the pub or something because I'm coming over to the UK for the Anthony Joshua rematch. That is all the way facts, and I'm still coming to um the UK um next summer. So look out for me, man. Like I said, man, this like I said, the marathon continues, and the marathon is just continuing with Anthony Joshua. So, you know what I mean? I feel as though the comments are a little disingenuous and only to piggyback off what Tyson Fury is saying, the fact that Anthony Joshua quit and the fact that everybody's trying to ride that wave because the big conversation isn't Deontay Wilder and Luis Ortiz. It isn't Tyson Fury and Tom Swartz. It is Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz when the rematch happens and then he's going to reclaim those belts and then he's going to reclaim that throne because even with the one loss on his record, fluke might I add, Anthony Joshua is still the number one guy. He's still a big dog in the division, and I know y'all can't stand it. And like that analogy I made, it's nothing but a bunch of barking dogs. It's nothing but a bunch of fucking dogs staring up at the moon all day, barking at that motherfucker. But no matter how many rocks you throw, no matter how loud you bark, you can't touch it, and the nigga is still going to shine bright. Anthony Joshua is the moon and sun. He rises and sets all over, you know what I'm saying, the heavyweight division, and a lot of y'all can't deal with it. So the way y'all going to do it, you're a bunch of cab drive, driving, fighting motherfuckers, y'all going to keep trying to piggyback off that man's resume, even in a law. So that just lets y'all know that y'all ain't nothing but some stir-fried bullshit. You know what I mean? So, I'm just going to continue on y'all hot dumps of juice ass niggas. And Tyson Fury, I actually like you, but you know what I'm saying? You a two-faced, flip-flopping ass, disingenuous ass nigga. But I like your style in the boxing ring. You just don't have no hit power. And I think you avoiding Anthony Joshua, and I think you avoiding Dillian White because you don't want to get knocked the fuck out. <clears throat> and they're a lot smarter than Deontay Wilder. So, if Deontay Wilder can touch you, Y'all, what do y'all dumb motherfuckers think of uh, Anthony Joshua, Dillian White were doing the ring with Tyson Fury? Y'all putting y'all stakes and claims a little too high in these Negroes, man. Because to be perfectly honest, Tyson Fury, easy touch. He might, his ballerina defense look good on the surface to a guy like Deontay Wilder who can't box, who fights like a fucking girl in the second grade, swinging for a guy, swinging for the rafters. Um... So, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is, man. Bob Aram is just using his promotional savvy. And everybody's piggybacking off of, you know what I'm saying, the um, the, the, the champion and that is the megastar that is Anthony Joshua. And they're going to ride that wave until, you know what I'm saying, the beaches are eroded. Until the sunset, sunsets on them. But at the same time, y'all want to throw stones at them. You know what I'm saying? But my mom always said, man, you shouldn't throw stones in your living glass houses. And a lot of y'all niggas live in glass houses. The boxing world is so... It's, it's, it's on so much bullshit right now because we live in a world where right ain't where right isn't necessarily right anymore. And you know what I'm saying to disagree with somebody, you know what I'm saying basically means that you, you know what I'm saying you hate, you know what I'm saying you you um, bashing them. You know what I mean? Now you know what I'm saying because so much fake shit is allowed to exist in the world that we even let this motherfucking this nigga Tyson Fury run around like he the lineal champion right now, talking about you know what I'm saying the lineal title is up for fucking grabs. Ain't no lineal title up for grabs when you get popped for drugs, bro. You lose that shit. That shit sat on the show. So, you know what I mean? So, as far as I'm concerned, those glories go back to Vladimir Klitschko and Anthony Joshua beat him. So, in my eyes, for real, Anthony Joshua is a lineal champion. And y'all try to take that shit out of context and act like Anthony Joshua don't know about lineal. He just said, man, there ain't no fucking lineal fucking belt. You know what I mean? But you see what ESPN is doing. They promoting this like this is the lineal title fight. Now, what type of bullshit is that? So, that's where I'm going where I say we live in a world where opinions it's like assholes. Everybody got one, and right isn't right no more. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know what I mean? If the light is fucking red, you know what I'm saying? 
you can run through it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 99 out of not 100 out of 100 times and not get hit by another fucking car going in a different fucking direction because, hey, everything anybody says is right and the internet is completely undefeated. Am I wrong? And when you got masses of people on social media following behind you and they piggyback off of your opinion, they're going to, you know what I'm saying, usher the fact that they believe you're right. That's why we got so many people believing in fucking phony Wilder. You know what I'm saying? Sloppy Wilder is my man casual boxing, boxing talk like the, um likes to say. You know what I'm saying? Sloppy Wilder, Beyonce Wilder, whatever y'all like to call them. Deontay Wilder for y'all dummies that don't know what I'm talking about. Um, you know what I'm saying? Y'all believe in this coward, man. And uh, Bob, like I just said, man, Bob Arum is just being disingenuous. And him and Tyson Fury ain't dumb, man. They know how to promote. They know how to piggyback and ride, ride. you know what I'm saying, Anthony Joshua Wade. They watch the master do it. Lil Tay Tay, Deontay Wilder, who been piggybacking his ass for a brick now. You know what I'm saying? And still ain't got his ass where he needed to be. And Anthony Joshua can come over to Madison Square Garden and sell his shit out off Andy Ruiz. And you can't even sell your own shit out. And you from America. Sheesh, that shit is spooky. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? That's basically what I got to say. It's just another piggyback employee, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Bob Arum has recognized Anthony Joshua as the biggest, best heavyweight in the world in the top three pound for pound, and that is on record. You know what I'm saying? So um, he actually likes Anthony Joshua as a fighter. I just think he's just a little blown that he ain't in the stable because, you know, um, Bob Arum, when so-called niggas was free agents, he was trying to clean all of that up. So he went and got his English freaking champion because uh, Eddie Hearn got his. And hey, England with that wave app right now, man. The England fighters got shit, got shit cranking right now. They got that drip. And um everybody else knows that, you know what I'm saying, the English heavyweights is running the game. Other than, you know what I'm saying, the fact that Andrew Ruiz and Deontay Wilder had a title, so the titles are in America, but all of the top heavyweights, four or five of the top heavyweights in the division are coming out of the UK. And two of those guys I can name off the bat will beat those guys in the top two. Anthony Joshua still has to prove that he can beat them. And Dillian White would definitely mop Wilder. And that way, and you know what I'm saying? We're we going to get that in 2020. I got the damnedest feeling. Wilder can't duck it no more. He can't hide from it, man. So, you know, when it comes to Bob Aaron, man, that's the OG in the game, regardless of whatever. So, you know what I'm saying? I respect him. I ain't going to beat up on no dude. But, you know what I'm saying? He got a business to run to over a top ranking with rival promotions. You know what I'm saying? They're going to pop shit at each other, but then respect each other when it comes to them contracts. So, you know what I mean? Don't think too much of it, man. That's just the boxing game we live in. Y'all know how Tyson Fury and Bob Aram do. Hey, man, that's all I got for y'all today, man. This your man, 3K the Boss, a.k.a. Mr. Two Hands Up. Bah, bah, you know what it is. And this is, this is the Two Hands Up Show. This video number four for y'all in less than four hours, man. The dawn is back. You know what I'm saying? Y'all enjoy y'all work week. Let's work. Respect, though.